لكل ملك حلال فامنع حلالك لا يغلبن محالهم محالك فإن فعلت فأمر بما بدالك These are the words that Abdul Muttalib said to Abraha when he came with his armies to destroy the Kaaba. For every king, there's an empire and a space. And this is the space of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ta'ala will protect it. And he implores Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help. Allah ta'ala sends birds, the ababil, and they throw stones down onto the army of Abraha and his elephants. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroys them. The happening of Abraha and the elephant's destruction happens 50 days before the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's birth. This is a signal and a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah ta'ala's support and power will be there with this young child Muhammad growing up amongst the hostile Meccans. The father of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Abdullah. He marries Amina bint Wahab, the mother of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One day as he was walking, there was a lady, very beautiful indeed. Her name was Layla al-Adawiyah. She had a lot of wealth and she was of a high profile. She said to Abdullah, I wish that you marry me and I will give you a hundred camels in return. At that time, Abdullah just married Amina. So he was not interested. After a while, he said to Layla al-Adawiyah, I'm ready for this marriage. Layla said, I'm not interested now. He said, why? She said, because at first you had a noor and a light gleaming from your forehead. You have passed that noor now to Amina and I have missed it. Abdullah is 25 years old. He sets out on a business journey to Syria. En route, he falls ill. And in Medina al Munawwara, Abdullah breathes his last. This is a blow to the mother of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and she's highly distressed. But now she pins her hope on the birth of this beautiful child that is not only to grace her lap, but to grace the world. Hajar and Ismail were the founders of Zamzam. Hundreds of years pass. Mecca is invaded. Amr bin Midad throws dirt and sand to cover up the location of Zamzam. Zamzam remains unlocated until the time of Abdul Muttalib. He implores Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help him find Zamzam again. He sees a dream and in his dream, he's told this is the spring of Madnuna. He says, Wamal Madnuna, I don't know what's Madnuna. He then sees a second day, another dream, and it's told to him, Tayba. He says, I don't know what is Tayba. And then the third day, it is told to him, Zamzam. And he said, this is Zamzam I'm looking for. He takes the custom that if I find the Zamzam and locate it, then I will sacrifice one of my children. And Allah Ta'ala shows him the location. And with his 10 children, he digs up the well. And Alhamdulillah, he finds Zamzam again. In appreciation, he wishes to now sacrifice one of his children. And when he draws lots, every time it comes to the name of Abdullah, the father of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Banu Makhzum tribe intervened and said, give the diya. And hence, 100 camels was given as a sacrifice in lieu of Abdullah's life. Allah Ta'ala would not allow the father of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to be sacrificed. For within his back lied the greatest human ever. Muhammadun Basharun, Lakal Bashari, Yaqutatun Hajarun, Lakal Hajari. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a man like no man, just as a sapphire and a gem is a stone, but unequaled to any ordinary stone. When Abdullah passed away, we find that Amina would come and she would have great fragrance upon her. On this, Abdul Muttalib told her, Oh Amina, it is not becoming of a widow like yourself to wear this fragrance. She said, I do not la amusitiba. I don't touch any of fragrance, but it is the fragrance of this child within me that engulfs the area. La amurru bi hajarin wala shajarin, nor do I move past a tree nor a stone except I can feel a magnetic force pull as if it is saying salam and paying their respects to this child within me. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born, then he went onto his hands. Basaruhu shakhisatan ila sama.
The Prophet Sallallahu eyes was affixed to, to the skies as if he is having a dialogue with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Uthman ibn Nabi al-As mother, Fatima al thaqafiya radiyallahu ta'ala anha says, I was present at the birth of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There was not enough oil to light the lamp. Extreme poverty. But when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came into this world, such light emitted that the entire room was lit. Amina then says that I heard a voice telling me that Sammihi Muhammada called this child Muhammad.